In this video, guys, I'm going to be showing you some effective trading methods that can help you go from 1K to 1 million coins. So, guys, if you're new around here, enjoy trading videos. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. We also are doing trading streams. If you like football, we talk a lot of football in there, all the latest Premier League topics, and you like trading, want to learn how to make, make coins, combine the two together. To me, that is that sounds like a stream I'd like to get involved with. So, the first method, guys, if you've got around about maybe 500 coins, 1,000 coins, you're not sure what you've got to do to build that coin balance up. And considering the market is dead right now these are the kind of trading methods that if you've got a low amount of coins will help you greatly so the first method you're going to be doing silver rare okay it's very important because silver rares normally tend to go for more than non-silvers and you want to do the maximum price for 300 coins and when you search obviously enables open bids now what are we looking for here we are mainly looking for maybe fast players maybe fast fallbacks you know just some players that maybe people would be interested in playing with so we're gonna we're gonna go to the next page because obviously there's only a couple of seconds left we're gonna look at this boa 10 for example so this boa 10 He's pretty quick, 90 pace. So we're going to have a browse. What you do, you press square. Obviously, if you're on the PlayStation, um, whatever it is on the Xbox, I can't actually remember. My bad. And what you do, you scroll through the actual price. And as you can see, he's going for around about 450 coins. Now, would I advise buying this? No, not really. So what you would do, you go again. You have a look. Let's have a look at this Spanish left back. Again, you press square on your, on, your, on your controller. You'd go through. Could you sell this card for maybe 550, 600 coins? Looks like there's already a couple at 500. But you're getting the gist of it, guys. Obviously, I might not pick up any deals right now as I'm recording this. But you know, you know the deal, right? You go through. You have a look. Can you look at the, you know, can you find the cheapest buy now on the Ket Go Compare? price and then once you do that bid 250 coins bid 300 coins the, the potential is there to make you know maybe three 400 coins a card and of course if you've got a little bit more coins i will be moving on to another method so this is going to be the silver method try and do this until you've got a couple of k and then what you want to be doing is then transitioning into the hunter gold method now this is a method that i still do even with 780k and a team well i've got over a million coins in total about 1.3 million transfer profit it doesn't really matter how much tp you've got to be honest but yeah we just want coins now why are we going to be trading with hunter and shadow and the reason why we're going to be trading with hunter and shadow is because people tend to forget that when these chemistry styles hunter or shadow are applied on a card they add value shadow or hunter normally are about two to three k at the moment so we're going to be trading because of the current like climate of the market right i'm talking as if this is actually a real market but it's a virtual currency market on fifa of course and we're going to be doing it because the market is dead on its knees and the great thing about this is that the tax is very very low so what are you going to be doing shadow or hunter you can change between the both if you if you get more cards on shadow then do it with shadow but do it but do it both of them maximum price 1.5k you search it now what you're looking for uh, guys is you're looking for again open bids however you're mainly looking for defenders for example this there's an open bid here potential open bid for the martinez 1.5k start price 2k buy it now now would this be a good deal no because who's looking for a striker Martinez in a shadow, you want a hunter on this card. So try and get defenders, try and get certain centre midfielders, try and get certain CDMs. And what you're going to be doing, guys, is just going through the open bids to see if there's anyone that you like the look of. Now, this Moreno card could be going for around about 2.2k. However, the market is a pretty dry right now. So what would I do if the market's dry and you have to wait a couple minutes? Just back out and then up your maximum price by one or 200 coins. Now, hopefully this should allow a little bit more search filters. Again, as you can see, it's glitched out. The market has gone up to 25 minutes. So what you do, again, you up it by another 100 or 200 coins and you repeat this process. Now, we're going to have a look at this Florenzi card, okay? So this is something that I do like the look of. What you would now do is, once you've added a couple of cards to your watch list, this method is best after 6 p.m., right? You would search up the Florenzi in a shadow. How much does this card go for in a shadow? And it looks like he's going for around about 2.9K. Now, the market is so glitched, guys. I need to sort this out ASAP. So, 2.4K, a little bit less than 2.4K, 2.3K. The 2.3K looks to be selling price. So, when I go back to this deal, it's not really a great deal. Whilst, you know, for me, with the amount of coins I have, I would be preferring to look at maybe 1K profits, okay? 1K profits. However, if you've only got 1 or 2K, you could easily buy that for 1.9K. 
flip it on for 2.4, 2.5K, then you've made four or 500 coins. If you've only got that amount of coins, like 10K, 15K, a low budget amount of coins, this method's pretty effective. But right now, I like to make one put 1K uh, per card. So again, I've changed the filter. I'm going to Hunter this time. Maximum price, 1.5K. The principle still remains the same. And what we're doing this time is now mainly looking for attackers, certain centre midfielders. So now this card, Almiron, I like the look of. Now, you're going to ask me, why do I like the look of this card? Firstly, right, it's position changed, right? Almiron, I'm pretty sure, is not a centre mid when he comes out of packs. And he's 1.5k with a hunter. So he's very attractive, okay? Same thing with um, Minamino. Minamino, despite having to wait five minutes, he has been position changed from a right wing to a right mid with a hunter card. So what I would do is I'd back out again, guys. You have to wait a couple few if you have to wait a couple of minutes, right, for auctions to end on the first page, just start increasing your maximum bid. And also, guys, this method is the most effective after 6 p.m. UK time, okay? Especially as the market is always panicking right now, cards are being sold. This method is most effective then. So what I would do is have a look at Minamino. How do I spell his name? Mina. Minamino, and of course, what you do again is just search up his cheapest in a hunter. So it looks like he's going for around about 2k. As you can see, he is position changed. So, what we're going to do is actually change this to a right mid, change this to right mid, and see what is the cheapest buy it now in the right mid. So, it's looking like by the looks of it, if they don't glitch like glitch it out, is about 2.5k for right mid minamino in a hunter so what you would do is obviously after tax you're looking at around about 200 coins so you're looking at about a 2.3k if you was going to sell this card for me for example i'm not going to wait the whole four or five minutes but i will try and pick this card up for maybe 1.5k i'm going to put a bid on that now let's go to almiron okay again the same thing applies what you do you back out you have a search for almiron uh almiron you have a search for him in a hunter and you will try and find his cheapest buy now in a hunter. So I'm not sure if that is actually the cheapest, but let's go for 2.7, 2.8. So an Almiron, according to this right now, is 2.8. But however, we've got to take into, take into account he's actually position changed, okay? So what we're going to do is actually have a look at the cheapest center mid in a hunter. Now, it's looking like it's about 7,000 coins. However, is it really 7,000 coins? Is this really his selling price? Just because, just because chat, right, and the people that are watching, if someone puts up a card for a value, doesn't mean he necess necessarily sells him. Does represent that you could possibly pick this card up and maybe put it on the market for 4K. Because when someone actually looks at Almiron, and by the way, people do actually, you know, trade with these cards and buy these cards for their team, etc. Maybe new people to the game. So I do get a lot of questions like who's actually looking for these cards. There are people out there that do look at for these cards, right? So when they look at an Almiron, they want an Almiron centre mid, for example, and they see 7, 8, 8, and then suddenly yours is at 4K or 5K, that would probably represent a good deal. So we're going to try and see if we can win this uh, card, guys. But also, as I mentioned earlier, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe. We do stream. What do we do on the stream? Right, we talk football. We were talking all about the Everton Liverpool game whilst helping you guys make coins. What's there not to love, to be honest? Trading, football talk in the streams combined, you love to see it here on this YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe. So again, whilst you're waiting sort of for that card to come down, you can obviously continue with this method. 1.5k. Again, we're going back in for the shadow. And I would personally do this, guys, till probably around about four to five hundred K. You've got a good amount of coins then to then maybe look at some investing, look at some, you know, um, potential cars that maybe a load that are out of packs, like in forms that you could maybe invest in and try and make a good profit. So we're going to have a look at, um, we're going to have a look at this Cramerich. I don't know if he's actually a good deal. We're probably going to miss out on him. However, this is what you would do, guys. So Cramerich put in for a hunter, attacking, uh, he's a striker, isn't he? Yep. 2.5k so it looks like he's going for a little bit less than 2k so probably not the greatest deal so let's go back to the transfer targets let's see what's going on with his bid so we've won Almir on for 2k right with there's a possibility we could win this minamino i'm not going to wait for that long i just wanted to give you an example 
Right, so we've picked up this card. I showed you that there was potential to possibly sell this card on. I'm gonna, I want at least make one thousand coins, and I want to get rid of this card pretty quickly. So I'm actually gonna put this card up for three point five k. This represents if you go and buy the, the other cards on the market, a very, very big undercut. After tax, we'll make about one point three k. Pretty nice if 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 I if I say so myself. So that is gonna be this uh, method, guys. I would do the silver method to around about five or six k. Go on to this method. You can then start using in this until you've got around about three to 500k and then once you get to 500k i'm going to show you the next part once you've hit 500k guys or you're around about the 400 to 500k the next step in order to get to that million in my opinion is to use footbin right and there's not multiple ways you can use footbin the thing that i like to use about footbin the most is looking at the previous team of the weeks looking at popular players that maybe have suffered uh, a dip in price because of the market crash you know the market right now is pretty much just going down 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 a little bit of stability down 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 champions league marquee matchups are to out today so this market could go down even further so how do i trade in a market like this for example what i like to do is look at team of the week players that are currently out of packs because the reason why we look at players that are out of packs right so mainly special cards that are out of packs is because they have no supply on the market, okay? So if they do drop UCL, UCL marquee matchups, which will which will drop pack supply onto the market, these special cards that may be affected, there's no su uh, supply of them, okay? Unless EA decide to put a bunch of cards on the market, there's no supply of them. So what I like to do is just go through each team in a week, have a look at what players that are popular players, for example. I'm talking like Bruno Fernandes, I'm talking Vardy, I'm talking Ben Yedder, Lozano. Lozano is supposed to be getting a second team in a week. So when you see this on the Tuesday that I'm recording, right, do not go and buy this card because I know he's dropped and that is because he's more than likely going to get a team in a week. Upa Makan, Hernandez, St. Maxim, players like that, players of that ilk, players that you may possibly see in weekend league. And there is a player that I like to trade with at the moment, and his name is Renato Sanchez. Right. And I want to give you reasons why I like trading with Renato Sanchez, because he is someone that does get affected by the market, the market dip. For example, I picked this card up for 67k two days ago. What I would do, right? I picked him up for 67k. You need to use and utilize these graphs. Right, what you do is pretty much just examine the past three days. Are there cards that fluctuate in price, for example? Do they go up? Do they go down? And the idea is, of, of course, guys, is buy them, at their, buy them at their low, sell them at their high. Yes, where you're going to make coins. So it was around about this time here yesterday, okay? He was around about 71k, right? UK morning, so which is about eight o'clock in the morning, okay? Eight o'clock in the morning is around about 72, 73k. On open bid, you could possibly pick this card up. For 70,000 coins, okay? You could possibly pick him up on a snipe for 68. Pretty decent, okay? Now, because I knew, the reason why I knew about this card would rise is because what's happened previously, he's gone down previously and he's rebounded. A lot of pro players, I'm good friends with hashtag Tom, they use them in their team, okay? When pro players are using players 82 rated such as Renato Sanchez instead of icons such as uh, Hullet, Rude Hullet, then you know this card is going to shoot up in value. So I bought one. I should have bought more, okay? I didn't have all my, I didn't have loads of liquid co coins at the time. I should have bought more. I picked up one at 67k. I sold him for 80, okay? And that just shows the power the power of firstly looking at the graphs. Do cards go up and down? What are they like in 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 terms of when the market's low? Are they one of the first to recover? Another one that I like to trade with as well is Harry Kane. Now, there is a possibility he could get another in form, okay? I've been trading with this card a lot in in the past, and there is a possibility I support West Ham. He actually got two goals and assist against West Ham. Right, so could he get another inform? I'm not too sure. Probably not, just because there are other players such as Werner. Despite them both getting a draw, they could get an inform. Okay, again, principle still remains the same. You want to check the hourly graph and just go through the, the last three days. So on Sunday, this is what I'm talking about fluctuations here, guys. Right, so obviously this is early in the morning. My demographic on this channel, a lot of you guys are not all from the UK. So the, so the people that are from outside maybe America. You could look at picking these cards at 3 o'clock in the morning, right? And it may be holding them a couple of hours and selling them for 65-68k. But can you see, guys? Can you see what I'm talking about? Fluctuations. Look, he's 68k here at one point. So if 68k is his peak, okay, at a particular one hour, and he goes down the next hour to 63, if you can pick up 
this card on open bid for 60k, for example, or 60k with a hunter card, you might snipe him. You have got the ability a couple hours to then potentially sell him for, you know, 68k, which after taxes around about 5k coins, depending if you've got a hunter card, that again, that I said earlier in, the, in, earlier in the video, increases the value of a card by 2 to 3k. You've potentially picked this card up for 61k or 60k and sold them for 70. And that is the pow powerful thing about these graphs and just sort of looking and examining, understanding price fluctuations. And cards all day, every single card every single day will fluctuate it's just about knowing it's just knowing the ones that fluctuate on a on a, a good occurrence on a regular occurrence and ones that you're able to pick up and ones that are more than likely going to rebound quicker because they're out of packs so renato sanchez or kane are just informed case that are both out of packs are just examples that i like to use and bruno fernandez um i haven't really traded with him yet but i know at the moment this card is fluctuating between 310 and about 340 so this is something i would keep an eye on again i just want to show you this guys so look so at one at one hour at three o'clock in the morning is 335k so you are able to probably list this car for six hours overnight however at six o'clock in the morning is 340 in his last bite now if you're able to then pick him up for less than 310 on open bid like 305 that's a pretty good chunk of profit. You're going to make 10 or 15k a card. So guys, that is going to be the end of the video. Guys, in the in the comment section, let me know how many coins you have. Okay? Let me know how many coins you have. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you keep an eye out for streams on this channel. We talk football. We talk everything football. Whatever team you support, we talk football. We love to talk football on this channel. We also help you guys make coins. Combine the two to both. It's a stream I like to be involved in. So make sure you guys keep an eye out for the streams. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helps you out a lot. Any questions or anything, make sure you DM me on Twitter or just leave a comment here. And I'll catch you in the next video. See you later, boys.